Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Salem Villa 42 DMS destination trailer. This is a new floor plan for the Salem Villa lineup. This is a two full bathroom, two full bedroom destination trailer. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the new 2024 Salem Villa 42 DMS here. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up there, this again is a two bedroom, two bathroom destination trailer. We're gonna actually start in the back and then we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So in the very rear of the RV, there is one of your two bathrooms, which does have an entry exit door here. So there is, let's squeeze in here a little bit with the camera. You have a little sink area, storage area, mirror set up right here. You're going to have your entry exit door going right out the back into the RV with a triple step. You'll see that when we get outside. And then there is a little foot flush toilet set up here and a step-in shower with a pull-across curtain. And you do have a little vent fan up top. So the person in this bedroom kind of has their own little private bathroom back here. Now we have a slide-out bed here and basically you got some storage up above which is pretty deep storage, actually. It's got little hinge holders on it, or little shock holders on it. But that goes back probably, I'd say, close to 15, 16 inches deep. There's an electric outlet and USB charger port on both sides, little end tables, and you have windows on each side that also open. There again, storage underneath the bed. Now this bed has what they refer to as the Versa tilt on it. There is a button over there on the wall above the light switch. You push that button and that will raise the bed up into seat mode so that you can basically kind of sit up and maybe read a book or watch a TV or whatever. But it is not meant to sit on while you're raising it up and down. Now right over here is going to be kind of your TV slash closet dresser area here. So you can kind of see here in the middle, a large place for a TV. It's got a backer in it. There's cable hookup, electric outlet, both there. You got hanging closet on each side, some overhead cabinets. There's even a little space up top there where you could maybe put some decorations or something and some storage down below as well. But plenty of room in this bedroom to kind of maneuver around and do what you need to do. Electric outlet down there as well. Now coming on out, you will have a sliding door there to block off that bedroom for privacy. So when you walk out of that bedroom, you're basically kind of stepping into your kitchen area. So you have a Whirlpool residential style refrigerator. You have the Furion oven which is a propane oven with a three burner propane cooktop. And then you have a large microwave up above and a lot of cabinet space as well. Again, quite a bit of space between the ceiling and the cabinets up there. So again, maybe some more decorations or something. Got your ceiling fan, one of your 15,000 BTU ducted Coleman ACs right there. Now this one was ordered with two ACs depending on where you're from. Uh, if you're definitely in central or southern United States, you probably want the optional second AC as well. But if you are a Canadian person, you may just want the one air conditioner. But again, you do have an option for two when ordering it from the dealer. Now you have a traditional freestanding dinette here on this one, and it has four chairs, big windows in this slide out as well. All of those windows in that slide out do open. They are currently using a pull-down roller shade 
for blinds in this area. On the slide floor, it has that kind of woven material instead of carpet. They use that material in a lot of pontoon boats. It's a lot more rugged and easier to clean up. Your sofa over here is what they refer to as a trifold sofa. This will flip out and make into a bed, so you could sleep a couple extra guests here if you needed to. Over there is an electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You also have a sound bar there, and there are TV hookups on that wall as well. So basically what they're wanting you to do is kind of mount the TV to that wall on a good swing arm. That way you could bring it around a little better and watch it from the sofa area. Beautiful solid surface kitchen countertops. You do have the undermount stainless sink as well. Window back there also opens. And then over here, you're going to have a little bar stool area. On the side over here, you have slide out button. You got ceiling uh, light switch here, outside speakers, another light switch, your monitor panel for your holding tanks, water pump. You have a dimmer switch, which dims down some of these ceiling lights, ceiling fan, on demand water heater awning in and out button as well. Now right here is going to be the second bathroom. And in this bathroom here, we have the foot flush toilet. We have a glass enclosure on this shower here. Some storage here, solid surface countertop as well. Skylight up above, vent fan up there as well. You have AC and heat in the bathroom as well. That's very important. You don't want to go to take a shower in the summertime and be basically baking in an oven. You'd be surprised how many small campers don't have AC in their bathrooms. Here we have our hallway area taking us into the master bedroom area and there's going to be a central vac with the little dustpan vac feature down there. Door swings open toward us here and we're going to have another entry exit door here. And we have our master bed here. So you have overhead cabinets basically like what was in the back back there. You're going to have the window on each side, a little end tables. You do have the uh, USB charger ports, electric outlets on each side. There's an electric outlet down here as well. And you also have a little bit of storage at the foot of the bed. Same thing here. It's going to have the little push button to raise the bed up. We'll raise this one up here just to kind of give you an idea on how that works. Our little pillows are going to fall down at us here, but... This basically just kind of goes up by a small 12 volt motor, putting it in seat mode, allowing you to maybe sit up, read a book, watch TV or whatever. But also at the same time, it pulls the bed back, giving you more room to maneuver around the bedroom if you need a little more room. And the one in the back area basically works the same. You have your little dresser area right there. There's TV hookups there. So you could, you know, set your TV on the dresser if you wanted to. Or maybe mount a smaller TV up on top of the uh, window up there. And you have big mirror. And you're going to have a closet behind this area right here. Oop. Helps if you flip the little lever open there. So we have hanging closet here. Same thing over here. And then you have shelf space up above. So overall a pretty decent sized closet.
All right, now we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV real quick. And then we're gonna come back in and I wanna show you what it also looks like closed. So you kind of know what you're getting into when it's all closed up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Salem Villa 42 DMS destination trailer here. We're going to start here in the door side and we will work our way around for you. So first things up, this particular unit was ordered with the standard aluminum exterior. You do have an option for fiberglass when ordering these if you prefer. Obviously, that is a more expensive option. You have a large power awning here, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You have deep tent safety glass windows along with the sliding glass door there. This is a triple entry unit, so you have the doorway going into the master bedroom here, the one into the living room area, and then the one on the back you'll see when we get back there. All three of them have the traditional hover style steps, rated for 300 pounds, and typically on these destination trailers, a lot of people don't even use those steps, they just build a deck around it and then kind of do it that way. Now, down below it does have low point water drains down here for winterization. There is an enclosed underbelly and also little brackets here where you can, what they refer to as hurricane strap them down. They do have an option for stabilizer jacks as well when ordering these things. Some people like those, some people don't. A lot of people do like to strap them down and block them instead of just using the little jacks that you can get from the factory. So depending on your preference, just make sure you order it the way you want it. You have two outdoor speakers here. You have a large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. The on-demand water heater right here your furnace exhausting out right here. There's a cable outlet, an electric outlet right here, stove exhaust vent up there as well. You do have a little porch light above your entry door down there. Going on around to the back side, you also have, again, the entry exit door here. These are the tented safety glass entry doors. Again, step going into the back side. You also have a cable hookup here as well, and a porch light up above that door also. Onto the back corner right here, you're gonna have your black tank flush for this back bathroom, along with your detachable 50 amp electric cord hookup right here. Down below is where you would dump your back bathroom. So you got your gray handle there and your black handle there. Now another really nice feature on this unit is gonna have the three slide out awning covers over top of the slide rooms already. Those roll in and out with the slides and basically help shade the room. They repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff, trying to help protect your slide roof and as well as just keep you from having to worry about you know, a lot of stuff getting drug in and out when you open and close these things. Storage door here goes underneath the back bedroom area. Moving up a little bit here, we are going to have another dump area right down here. So you have your black tank flush right there. You're going to have your gray and black tank for up here as well. Step back here so you can kind of see down the whole side. Right here you're going to have more storage. You can see the power cord rolled up there. Up here is where you're going to have your city water inlet your fresh water tank fill, and then down below is the fresh water tank dump. Now there's some pretty important informational stickers right here basically telling you, for example, this unit was built 28 of 24, model number 42 DMS. Gross vehicle weight of the RV is 13,475 pounds, did not exceed that. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. 
Dry weight was 11,382 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line. Exterior length, 43 feet, 10 inches. Tire size, ST23580 R16 E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure, guys, if you are gonna be traveling with this thing. I know, again, a lot of you take them, park them, never really move them till you sell them, but that is something that's very important to keep up with if you're traveling. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, manual tongue jack, you have heavy duty safety change, seven way Bargman wiring plug, because you do still have brakes on this, even though it's a park model, you gotta get it there. So it does have drum brakes as well. You have your propane tanks here. Down right underneath the here is a battery disconnect and room for one battery to go there as well. And then you do have a couple little porch light things here on the front of it. But overall, a nice new floor plan for the Salem Villa lineup for you folks that are looking for two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. That's not gonna break the bank. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 Salem Villa 42 DMS here. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like closed. So I've already done the work here. I've closed it up for us. Let's start up here in the master bedroom area up front. So right here, you can see I have the bed in seat mode, which allows me to basically squeeze through there if I need to. When it's down, it comes all the way up against the dresser. So when it's up, I could get to some of the stuff in my dresser. I could go across there easily to get to my closet. But if I wanted to sleep in here, if I was a traveling person, I would have to have it in down mode, which would block my closet. But I could come through the front door into the master bed, take a nap. I could come through the sliding glass door if I had to, or even the master bedroom area and come right on in here to my bathroom. So I'm not blocking the main bathroom at all. Now with it closed up, it's really tough to kind of squeeze through this part. You can kind of step around a little bit here to do so and get yourself back to maybe load the refrigerator if you needed to or something like that. Uh, you can also see here, same thing back here with it in seat mode you can kind of squeeze through there a little bit but if it's down it touches the uh, dresser closet area there and then you'd have to crawl over the bed to get to the back bathroom now again if you're stopping at a rest area or something and just needed to run in to use the bathroom you could always go straight in the back door and use the bathroom back there as well but pretty simple and easy to do these are hydraulic slides so you just push a button to make them go in and out 12 volt powered all right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Greatly appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. And as always, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We're going to step out here, just kind of show you real quick what it looks like. Closed up on the other side, too. All right, folks. Thanks a ton.